Good morning. So today we will continue our discussion on the test that we're going to use for our uh, research. So last time we discussed about the two products. The, we want to compare the satisfaction level uh, for of products A and B. So the statement of the problem as a recap, so the statement of the problem, what is the satisfaction levels for products A and B? We want to know that and then if there is significant difference on the satisfaction level, is there a significant difference on their satisfaction level? Okay, so the hypothesis is there's no significant difference in the satisfaction levels for A and B. And then for the statistical tool, and then now we will we will look at another uh, data set, and then let's try to analyze if this data will follow the assumption for normality. So let's start. So to get the product satisfaction, so we have to get the average of all the items inside that particular product and then wait wait no average average of this one equals and then the average of this one and then we have to get the the difference according to uh, Andy Field we have to get the average equals Let's say this one minus this one. Okay, and then we have to drag all of the, the small square here. Yeah, and then we, we, we will now transfer this data to SPSS to, uh, for us to analyze. We have to copy that one, and then I already. Uh, pasted the data here so this is my data 433933 and the negative 5 ok so let's now try to let's now proceed to the uh, uh, normality testing analyze descriptive and then explore and then uh, reset this one the difference you go put the difference there and then the statistics we have to take a look at the histogram and then the normality plots ok and then let's press ok so let's take a look. Uh, so this is the histogram of the difference. Very, very awkward. So, yeah. The important thing there is this one here. The test of normality. So we have to copy that one. And then let's put it. Uh, no. So let's now try to analyze the results. So the significance value of the uh, kolmogorov smirnov is 0.0. .0. And if we're going to take a look at our guidelines here. For the normality testing, if the significant value is less than 0 0.05, hence we can say that the data significantly differ from normal distribution or we cannot use a parametric test in this case because the significance value is less than 0 0.05. So if we're going to take a look at uh, the statistical, fr statistical framework here, so the data... Uh, yeah, and the same because if we're going to take a look at the framework our conceptual framework here A and B our respondent will answer both product satisfaction level for A and B so uh, yes and then since the uh, parametric test the data will not meet the parametric test so we are going to use the Wilcoxon match pair test okay so let's edit the data here and then normality assumptions the difference of the satisfaction level does not meet the assumption of normality so 85 and then the statistic is 104.104 and then the p is the sig value is less than less than 0. Uh, 05. So, discussion for the tool, since the difference of the satisfaction level for A and B does not meet, meet the assumption for parametric test, hence the researcher will use the Wilcoxon match pair test. Okay, so we will now proceed 
to SPSS to analyze using the Wilcoxon. So, analyze, we go to non parametric test, legacy dialogues, and then the two related samples here. Okay, the two related samples reset, and then let's put the product A here, and then the product B there. And then we can have, if you want, the Monte Carlo, and then okay, if you want the basic, if you just want to know the basic, we can have the asymptotic only. And then the Wilcoxon by default, and then just press OK. Okay, so uh, we, we also have to remember that in parametric test, non parametric test, the median is a little bit important compared to the mean. So we have to get the mean, also the mean. So tables, the cost, uh, no, no the, the median, we, we have to get the median, a custom table, and then you drag the, no, we, we can uh, use this one, descriptive and then descriptive statistics so we can use to find we can use this to find the median we can use the explore and then to res reset this one and then products a and b statistics descriptives and then for the plots, we don't need the plots, we don't need the normality plots, we just need the statistics here, the descriptive statistics. So we can have the statistics only and then this one. The median for the product A is 3.33 and the median for the product B is uh, 9, so very high and very low. So uh, Okay, so that's the median. And then for the result of the Wilcoxon test, we can directly see the asymptotic value here of 0, 0, 0. .0. Okay, so this means that we're going to see our guidelines here. If the value is less than 0 0.05, hence the median significantly differs from each other. Basically, what we're trying to say here is there is a significant difference from the satisfaction level of product A and B. So let's now try to, to paste the results so that we can visualize. We can copy this one. And then we can paste it here. This is not already the, the graphs here. So. Okay, so we can paste our table here. Oh, what is this? Copy and then paste this picture, and then you you can crop you can crop this uh, picture for presentation purposes. Okay, so this is the not the Man Whitney but the Wilcoxon. Right this. Okay, so we're going to to have these results here. So we have to compute the effect. Uh, we can also put the median here. Show the table. So median, we can insert a table here for the median. And have the median for product A. product A and we have the product B. So this one. And then this is the median. So for the product A, the median is 3.33. Sorry, 3.33. 3.33 median 3.33 and then for the product B the median is 9.0 okay so what we're trying what was the result is trying to, to tell us is that the satisfaction level for product B is very high compared is higher compared to to product A and using the Wilcoxon pair test 
Uh, there is a significant there is a significant difference on their satisfaction level statistically significant difference and then in order for us to assess uh, how big is the difference so we, we are going to use the effect size by Rosenthal okay so we have to compute the z the z score here is the negative 17 point zero to seven and then we have to be uh, sorry the z is negative 17.027 and we have to be careful here the n here is for the paired t test we have uh, 385 who, who answered for products a, for product a and then three another 385 who answered the product b so we have to multiply that one by two 770 so 770 then if you're going to use our calculator to solve for the values so we have negative 17.00 to 7 and then square root of 770. So that is negative 61. Negative 61. So if you're going to use the interpretation that we had in the previous discussion, this negative, the effect size of negative 6.1 is very large. This is a very large effect. Okay? So let's let's now uh, make the conclusion for this particular problem. On average, the satisfaction level for products A for for product A. Uh, let's say we will start with product B because product B is much is much higher. So product B, the median is nine point zero. Is greater than product product A with a median of 3.33 3.3 the difference was statistically significant at the z-score of negative uh, 17 point zero to 7 and the P, the sig value here is less than 0 0.05 and represents a large, large size effect with an R value of negative 61. Okay? So that's it for the Wilcoxon paired T test. On the next video, on the next topic that we have, we will discuss the one way ANOVA and then the Kruskal-Wallis. Okay?